Um, I really enjoyed how open you are in the introduction, talking about how despite a long list of achievements, you still feel nervous when presenting to various different stakeholders. Do you think that's something that ever goes away? Yeah, I, I, I hear it does. <laughs> But, uh, but sadly, this isn't my experience. Um, so most of my colleagues are like, yeah, yeah, it gets easier, you just have to practice. And um, I, I have the, the fortunate uh, thing of when I do public speaking, I manage to hide it to such an extent that no one has any idea. I mean, uh, doing an interview like this is actually fairly nerve-wracking for me. Yeah. I felt quite nervous about this, but um, apparently you'll tell it me. Doesn't it doesn't show. There you go. So I have no idea how I do that, which is it's, it's a handy thing. Yeah. Um, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I've done no multiple things which have just absolutely terrified the hell out of me. Um, uh, and I think the, the answer is just to say, you know what, if your motive for doing this is right and you're passionate about why it is that you're doing it, then something else takes over and you just say, you know what, despite the fear, I'm doing this anyway. And once you get into your stride, it all happens. But uh, yeah, my, my first ever uh, public thing was a, a lecture. Uh, my first ever lecture actually had a panic attack. It, it went very badly. Um, yeah, I've, I've had a long litany of, 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 of stories of things where I've, I've burned and uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's crashed and burned. But, but yeah, I, I just keep doing it because I believe it's important. So.